What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last part, we made our way through the Distortion World, defeated Cyrus in the final showdown with Team Galactic, and then got the devil himself, Garatina. And now we are done with Team Galactic, but before we can move on to the 8th gym, there's a one thing we've got to do, and that is to come back to Sandrum Town and check in with Rowan and Don because they think we're freaking dead. But no, they've been waiting for us to uh, walk through these doors. And luckily, yes, I'm still alive. So they are just uh, glad to see me. And they're going to say that the Lake Trio has returned to their respective lakes. And he also talks about Sunny Shore City and the 8th Gym and the Pokemon League. So that kind of hints at where to go next. Now, just in case you didn't know... Sunny Shore City is located past a Route 222, which is right next to the Valor Lake front. And if you remember, there was that guy saying there was a power outage or whatever. Well, after you talk to Rowan and Don, he will um, move out of the way and you can make your way towards Sunny Shore City. So that is what we're planning on doing in today's video. Real quickly, I'm going to have to deposit my Staravia, though. I was just using him to fly around. Also, I love how we now have Garatina sitting in the PC next to, like, all of those baby mons. That is a uh, hilarious sight. Anyways, as Rowan said, the Lake Trio has returned to their respective lakes, so you can now actually go to Lake Acuity, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and catch Mesprit, Azelf, and Uxi if you would like. Now, similar to kind of in like the Pokemon Silver walkthrough, when I did the Legendary Beasts or Dogs, whatever they are, I think I'm going to wait until after I get the 8th badge and maybe even after I go through Victory Road. Just sometime in between the 8th badge and the Elite Four. And then I will dedicate a separate video to getting the Lake Trio. I'm not going to do that just yet. I feel like I should get my levels up a bit more because I think they're in the high 40s or maybe 50. But um, yeah, I decided I am going to not do that just yet. Also, I don't think there's a hidden item down here. It looks like a really good hidden item spot. Anyways, this is Route 222. Now, I know there's a bunch of hidden items, mainly like along the beach. I'm going to try to see if I can find any. I think one or two are actually up here through this grass. Speaking of the grass, some new Pokemon you can get include some electric types like Magnemite, Magneton, Electabuzz. So uh, if you're looking for an electric type, you can definitely grab yourself one here. And the electric types are also good to fight because of the next gym will be using electric types, so try and figure out how you're going to deal with those. And considering they only have one weakness, it may be pretty tough to deal with those electric types. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. You might want to get yourself some ground type TMs. I know we had the uh, TM for Dig before. And uh, if you do have a ground type though, like me, then you may be okay. And this guy's actually using a freaking Lux, right? I wish this thing was part dark right now. A lot of people think it should be part dark. That's also a reason why in a bunch of like Pokemon ROM hacks, if you didn't know, a lot of people actually just made Luxray Electric Dark themselves because, I mean, look at that guy. He looks like an Electric Dark type. Um, anyways, level 45. Yeah, the levels are going to, you know, jump a bit compared to maybe the last route we were on back in the snowy area. And uh, I think the Gym Leader's Highest Level Mon gets to level 50. So keep that in mind. Um, my Pokemon are still in the low 40s, and that's another reason why I just figured I wasn't going to be able to deal with the Lake Trio right now. We just got done catching Garatina, which took a while. I think I need to stock up on some more Ultra or Dusk Balls and just wait to get my money back up, you know? Because uh, if I try to spend a bunch of money right now, I'm going to run out of money buying all those Pokeballs. Anyways, right here is a uh, Wikipedia berry, or two of them, I guess, and then... A bunch of other berries. Now, Route 222 has two different paths. One's kind of more inland, um, where I am right now, and then the other is down on the beach with a bunch of fishermen. Either way, you're going to have some trainers. Actually, I think you can avoid uh, most of them that are on the beach, so that's probably the quicker way. But either way, I'm going to uh, cover both sides, and I think there's also like a Pokemon fan club here and stuff, so a couple of houses down on the beach as well. Also, there's a full restore sitting at the end of that path and then we have a beauty coming up and i'm realizing now a lot of these people just have like one pokemon which is sort of surprising but hey at least it makes the battles pretty quick but yeah i guess in the next episode we'll already be taking on the eighth gym meaning after that 
we're moving on to the freaking Elite Four, which is pretty crazy. Of course, we're still going to have to go through, like, you know, the water routes, then Victory Road. Those will take a few episodes. And then we still got the post game. So don't think this series is, uh, you know, in the home stretch just yet because I feel like it isn't. Again, I've talked about it before, but the post game is relatively long. Also, I know this is a, a late Friday night upload. So I hope you guys had a good Friday. Hope your weekend is uh, off to a good start. I'm also just going to switch here because the low pony is annoying. And for me, I actually have a four day weekend coming up, which is pretty exciting. So um, yeah, that is super hype. Hopefully that will give me some time to make some more videos. I'm getting relatively close to finishing the one over for the main channel. I know there hasn't been a new video in three weeks or so. I think almost three weeks. But my goal is to have it done by the end of this long weekend so I can get it up next week. So if you've been wondering where the content is over there, that is, uh, you know, that's the next video I have planned. And then I already have the video after that planned too, which is very good. And then here, you know, we're just trying to keep up the daily upload streak, baby. I'll probably try to record another video tonight just to have one ready for Saturday. But I don't have too much time tonight. Gotta work on some homework and whatnot. Anyways, Wormadam, I'm going to fully heal you up, and then we will move on to, I think, a Sailor, actually. Real quick, let me come around. Oh, we don't have Cut anymore. All right, you can go grab an item back there if you do have Cut. And, oh my gosh, my Repel wore out on the last Grass Tile. Anyways, right there's a pretty obvious Hidden Ultra Ball. Let me go ahead and spray another Max Repel. There's not too much Grass on this route, but I'm just zooming around on my bike. I just don't want to run into anything. And I think this guy's going to give us the TM for Fling. If you don't know how Fling works, it depends on the item you're holding. I think like, oh, what is it? The Heavy Ball or something? It's it's one of those like, you know, heavy looking items is the item that will do the most amount of damage to you um, or to the opponent, I guess. If you throw like a berry on the Pokemon, it's not going to do that much damage. So it all depends on the item. Also, here's a policeman. And since I'm recording at night, we can take him on, which is pretty cool. I will switch over to Mario, who's definitely gotten a lot of action in the recent videos, that is for sure. Um, just because he was so good for, like, a bunch of Team Galactic's Pokemon and Cyrus, and even Garatina too. Like, he was just eating Garatina's hits. So, I don't know. Probably pass, you know. I know he looks like Mario and stuff, but I feel like he's a little underrated. Maybe not when he gets freaking flinched. Come on, Probo Pass, Get through it. There we go. But yeah, this route is really short, but again, there's a lot of trainers, so I feel like this episode will be a decently long one again. I might be cutting out some of the fishermen fights later on, and you really switched out. Too much choke. All right, well, funny thing, I actually went for Thunderbolt, so still going to be neutral. But yeah, the fishermen have like three and four Pokemon down on the beach, so those will take a bit longer. And since you're out here now, let's go back into Benny. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? Did y'all ever play Apples to Apples when you were younger? That was like up there with some of my favorite board games. I gotta say, when I was younger, maybe like Picture Rica, if y'all have ever heard of that. I think that's uh, that's gotta be one of my favorites. But Apples to Apples was pretty solid. Who Knew was another good one. And if you don't know any of these games that I'm talking about, then I'm sorry, you just didn't have a good childhood or something. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, down goes your Machoke, and I guess I'm going to switch back out since we've got this stupid Noctowl coming back in. Didn't know that we were dealing with some BCG AI today. Kind of crazy. Also, I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but there's been a lot of just chatting going around the uh, Pokemon community, at least on YouTube, about there being DLCs for Scarlet and Violet, and DLCs that could feature the Kalos region. Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before in these videos, but, uh, you know, there's some hints at Kalos being a part of the DLC. Maybe we get some new Paradox Pokemon, some new Pokemon from, um, whatever that book is called that Arvin had, nearly forgot his name. But, uh, yeah, DLCs seem to be on the horizon for Scarlet and Violet, which is kind of exciting. I can't even lie. Also, here's a double battle. I actually meant to put... Um, what's his name? Probo Pass up front because these are both water types, which sounds crazy, but hey, we've got Thunderbolt. But I forgot, so we're kind of just going to wing it with uh, who I have out on the field right now. But 
If we are to get DLCs of Scarlet and Violet that feature Kalos and feature new Pokemon, it would definitely make me excited. I can't even lie. They would be freaking sick. Oh, you have Ice Beam, Remoraid? Ooh, all right, it's not Stab. You're not even fully evolved. Oh my gosh, that, okay, yeah, I was about to say, that has to be a crit. Dude, look at that little fish. Come on, he can't do that much damage to a big old hippo, but no, apparently he freaking can. Well, good thing he's dead. Great, now Mantyke, this freaking baby Mantine over here is probably gonna finish me off. Isn't that wonderful? Yo, Mantyke though, don't sleep on it. It actually has like better defenses than you may initially think, and he went for bounce. You've gotta be joking. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> Yo, why? All right, well, I guess I'm just taking this turn to like, I don't know, I'll switch into Glaceon and then heal up Hippaldon. Not like I'm gonna be able to hit Manti because he was the slowest one on the field. So pretty unfortunate there, but it's whatever. We're almost done with this battle and then I think I will head on down to the beach and uh, see what's up with the fishermen. I honestly might take out like all of the fishermen in one jump cut just because again they have some pretty big teams we know how much i hate the gyarados and um you know just dealing with them so uh i won't cut out the entirety of the beach but i kind of just want to get the stupid fishermen out of the way but first i need to worry about the stupid man tyke all right you're gonna go down to return though which is nice and finally that double battle is over should have been quicker and now, like, half my team's getting experience. Sweet. And uh, let's move on down to the beach. I guess I'm just going to start from this way. We're already here. Real quickly, though, here is uh, the Pokemon size contest. Now, I can't remember really what this house is about. I think he's looking for a Remoraid that's a certain size. Yeah, a giant Remoraid. I forget what he gives you if you do have one, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. And then here is the Pikachu Pokemon fan club. And... Yeah, you can tell. It's a Pikachu Pokemon fan club. The funny thing is, though, one of these Pikachus, like this girl, is actually a trainer. So, she only has two, well, Pikachus, obviously. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the other Pikachus are regular, like, actual Pikachus. But, no, this lady freaking jukes you out, you know? Pulls an Uno reverse card on you and says, no, I'm a freaking Pikachu, yeah. Alright, well, luckily they have pretty awful defenses. Wormbadam should... Handle these boys easily, especially since he resists electric, so even these powerful discharges are doing a whopping 11 hit points, but we get paralyzed and fully paralyzed. Ah, uh, because, you know, whenever I get paralyzed, I have to get fully paralyzed in the same turn. Always happens to me. Alright, down you go, almost level 43. I'm not even going to bother, though. We're going to switch into Moto Moto now in Earthquake. Oh, it's just going to bring down this whole fan club, man. It is going to put this place, put this house in its place, is what I meant to say. It is going to be left in shambles, and all these Pikachu are going to run away, and then this little girl and her dad are going to be like, no, our Pikachus, no more fan club. Dang, I don't know why I just got so brutal out of nowhere. It's all because I got paralyzed. That is the reason. All right, well, down you go. I don't believe the guy in here has anything for us. I'll talk to him just in case, but if I'm not mistaken, it's really just Pokey Kid Janet in here. Let's uh, let's see. Do you have anything going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu? Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. It's like these fishermen trying to win battles with Magikarps. All right, I went ahead and just took down all the fishermen over here. I mean, they had like Remoraids, Finneons, Gyarados. One actually had a Feebas, but that was really about it. Y'all didn't really miss anything. They took kind of a while. Now, I didn't mean to fight this tuba right here, but she freaking turned around right as I was passing by. So, went ahead and took her out too. Now, real quickly before we head off the beach, I'm going to first make sure I still have Max Repel sprayed, which I didn't. And then we can come over here and grab one item, and then I think a couple of hidden items. There's a Quick Ball and... You can see these little open patches are pretty obvious. There's a tiny mushroom. And is there anything over in this one? I'm not sure. There is a full restore. And then, I think if we keep on surfing to the right, we can get more hidden items over there. And then after this, we only have one more puny little sailor to battle before we are good to go. And looks like we have a big mushroom. Heck yeah, free money money right there. 
But yeah, we'll take on this sailor and then I will probably call it a day. Now, some people did level up during those fights, including Glaceon, who uh, tried to learn Ice Fang. I kind of got rid of it. I think Glaceon may have better physical attack, though, considering it's getting Ice Fang instead of something like Ice Beam. But Ice Beam's just more powerful. I didn't really want Ice Fang anyways. Even though, doesn't it have a chance to flinch too? Or is it only freeze? I'm not sure. Alright, last dude here has a Wingle to begin. And even though I've got Infernape out here, let's be real, it's a freaking Wingle. I can give this thing a Shadow Claw, and it'll probably go down. Oh yeah, that would have been embarrassing if it didn't though, holy. Can you imagine? And then you've got a Gastrodon, okay. Oh, well, you see, here's the issue. Sort of forgot to heal up my team members after those battles. So, Benny, we're gonna, we're gonna test your luck here. You're at 26 <laughs> HP, but you've got a quad effective hidden power. Can you one-shot and survive? <laughs> oh, this is such a dumb decision. Dude, Wormadam has to have, like, the least happiness on my team. I don't think this will one-shot. Yeah, Gastrodon's very tanky. And then you have hidden power. Hey, maybe it's, like, not very effective, you know? Oh my gosh, it actually is. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Wormadam will survive. Yeah, I suppose that Gastrodon didn't really have anything too good for me. So we did get lucky. Yay. All right, and then I'm pretty sure this dude just has a Machoke. So we'll go back out into Infernape. And then I think at this point, like everyone's got some, some action in today's episode, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, Sunny Shore City is just around the corner. We'll check out the city in the next video, and we'll also fight the gym, so be on the lookout for that. My plan for this gym, I hinted at it earlier, but, uh, I'm just gonna use Zip Out on the whole time. I mean, we have Earthquake. Sure, is he gonna, you know, be able to one-shot every single mod in there? Probably not, but, like, 90% of those mods are probably gonna get one-shot, and... There's just no reason for me to make it any more difficult. So yeah, Hippaldon's definitely going to get his time to shine tomorrow, which will be very fun. Anyways, Sailor Luther goes down. And do we have any more berries or something? No, it's a honey tree that's up here. That's right. But that brings an end to Route 222. Next time, we're heading into Sunny Shore City. For now, have a great rest of your day or night at this point. And until next time, deuces!